हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज गौरम बदान ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज कोड स्टेलर एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट की वॉल्ट एंड हाउ यू कैन यूज नोड जे एस एप्लीकेशन टू एक्सेस सीक्रेट्स फ्राम द की वॉल्ट सो द गोल हियर इज टू अंडरस्टैंड द पर्पज ऑफ द की वॉल्ट की वॉल्ट इज़ यूज टू स्टोर योर सीक्रेट्स ओके anything that you want to have control access to your api keys your secrets your certificates so key vault is a key value store okay so here i have logged in into the azure portal and i'm going to create a key vault let's create one i'm going to create it under a subscription and i'm going to create a logical resource group resource group is think of resource group as a logical container just as your folder name so i'm going to say rg stellar demo and that's okay let's give a key vault a name say kvl uh, cs dev cs stands for cs stands for code stellar here usually you may want to have uh, you know the name giving the idea of your location so i'm going to keep the standard tier and i'm going to keep the uh days to retain deleted walls policy as is and i'm going to create one <coughs> all right so it has it is saying that the validation is passed and let's create one key vault so it is creating the key vault here in the meantime i'll start here the npm application you can see here ls I have created a folder node hyphen key vault and this is a blank folder so I'll do npm install and let's say npm init I'll create simply so it has created a package or JSON I can go to my Visual Studio code to check it out yes the package or JSON is here and to access the key vault secrets we would need two packages in the meantime we have our key vault ready and let's go to the resource so this is my key vault okay and here you can see you can have keys you can have secrets you can have certificates let's create a secret here for example i want to create a secret and let's give it a name say developer is the key and let's give that value as code stellar okay and i'm going to create this secret now this can be your connection string this can be your any uh, client secret ids now how to access this secret on the local okay we'll talk about that for that you would need to have azure cli so you can install this azure cli on your system and it is a cross platform tool and uh, you can install it for windows mac and linux i have already installed it and i can check it using azure az version so it says okay i am having an azure cli of 2.27 okay so i am not going to log in here first what we will do is we will first check out how to access the secrets uh like i showcased you in the npm application i have created a package.json and we have already created one secret in the key vault let's create one index file here index.js and we would need two packages one is npm install at the rate azure identity and another one that we would need is azure key vault secrets okay so by default when i try to access the secrets from this azure key vault i would not be able to access this however i would need to give access to myself if i want to make use of default azure credential which automatically creates a service principle uh, or uh, we'll talk about managed identity which allows azure resources within the azure portal under the same subscription to communicate with each other okay so we have installed one package here let's install the another one which is key vault secrets all right so we have npm install 
at the rate azure slash key vault secrets okay so in our node.js application let's check it out here in the package version we can see there are two dependencies added azure identity and azure key vault secrets and we have created index.js which is blank here so what i'll do here is i'll say let's say uh, azure identity which requires uh, let's say at the rate azure identity okay and similarly let's say azure uh, key vault and let's let us make it require require azure key vault secrets okay so the very first thing that we would need is we would need to start default azure credential so what i can do here is i'll take a variable here const credential is equal to new ag identity dot so you can see here it is automatically giving me some options and i'm going to take default azure credential here okay and once i take this okay so i'll keep it as is let's take a secret client so i'll make a client and uh, we'll say new azkv so if i go here you can see here it is automatically giving me secret client and you can read the documentation on the left the secret client provides methods to manage key vault secret in the azure key vault which means this secret client would be required to get the secrets to create the secrets or to delete the secrets or to get the list of deleted secrets this wants to accept a vault url how do i get this vault url in the azure portal when we created a key vault if i go to overview i would get the vault url here so i'll copy this i'll make it here and then i would simply it needs a token credential which is nothing but the credential that i have taken on the above stage okay now i will try to log in and i'll say console.log uh, then I'll say client dot get secret okay so I'll get a secret here let's say I'll say client dot get secret I know I have added a secret name developer okay and when I get it let's try to print what it gives me so I'll create an arrow function here and simply say console dot log saying response and if it is having any error then i'll say okay give me the error then i'll say console dot log let's see what error occurred okay then i'll print that error now let's check it out whether or not it works so i go to my console uh, usually i use the visual studio terminal within itself but now that i had opened this terminal i'm leveraging this so i'll simply say node index dot js to check this out so it complains about it and it says no subscription found right and it goes into the catch statement saying error occurred okay so what i would need to do is i would need to log in and even if i log in i should not be able to access because i have not given this key vault as access so here we have something called as access policies so okay we already have garamadan we have uh, given the access and similarly if you want to give access to any other ad account you can go here and you can give the you know minimal access i would say let's say if you want someone to give access of the read permissions only you should say only get and list let's say you want to give the permissions to manage secrets only you can give the minimal permissions okay let's say you want to give someone permissions to read only secrets you can give these permissions okay and i'll go back here now this is the time to log in so i'll go here we'll clear this console and will say az login okay so it will take me to the browser and i'm logging in here
all right we'll wait for this so it is logging me in and we'll see that once the login has happened it will give me the subscription id the tenant id and a couple of information uh, right on my console which means i am authenticated with this azure portal okay and now it will get the secrets this means you can allow the secrets based on the access you gave in the key vault alongside there are other ways to access secrets uh, which we'll talk in another video using the client secret and app registration but in this video we'll not talk on that all right so it uh, looks like i have another meeting but i'll minimize it for now and let's go here it's it looks like all right it says the web browser has opened and now you can see here it has opened and says tenant id and it is giving me the managed identity and uh, everything is here right and give me a moment i'll quit this meeting for a moment all right so it says uh, i have logged in and i'm having the tenant id okay so now again if i go and try to call that node index.js you can see that i am now able to access the secret the secret name is developer and the value is code teller so this is how with a simple node.js script with a simple node.js script just add two packages azure identity and azure secrets you can access the secrets from the key vault this is it in this video thank you so much i would come with more videos till then keep coding keep enjoying Azure key uh, Azure key vault and learn Azure thank you